What's up, YouTube? Erod 212 here with another video. So I went to the Bronx Comic Con 2, and it was amazing. All right, so uh, past weekend on Saturday, Bronx Con number two was up. And uh, as promised, this show delivered, in my opinion. Uh, I've never seen a small show, and you guys know I go to a lot of small venue shows, uh, VFWs and, and Elks Lodges and, and stuff like that. This here was the first time I went to a small show. Uh, it was relatively the same space as most of these other ones where you had artists like Ben Harvey and Joe St. Pierre there among other artists that were there. Captured Collectibles was doing uh, CGC verifications for autographs there. Uh, where do you see that at a small show? It, it just, there were free giveaways. They had uh, exclusives to the con. This is a small show with all of these things. On top of that, you had vendors like Streetside Anthony and Yasu Collectibles and Kyle's Comics and, and all those other guys that were there that were uh, NRG Comics. They were just, selling great books you know um it was it was a good show and there were some deals to be had you know what um i felt that we needed to interview the promoter of this show so here's a short interview with him and then let's take a look at the show floor what's up everybody erod 212 here and i'm here with my man lone wolf comics from uh, Instagram and YouTube and every other social platform we could talk about. And we're here at the Bronx Comic Show. So uh, JC, tell us a little bit about this show and how it started. All right, so it, how it started was that I wanted to do something for the Bronx. I want us to have a great show. Like every other bar will have their own show, but we don't have a show. So I'm trying to make this the next big thing for the Bronx. And we, this is the second time we did it. The first time he even did came and looked at it and he enjoyed it. Yeah. And and by the way, let me say thank you to you, right? He helped me out a lot. Great guy. That's a good show. And this time around, I was able to bring some bigger names. I got Ben Harvey, we got Joe Pierre, we got Keith Wheeling, we got Henry Martinez in here, we got Joe, we got Vila in here, we got Chris Madden in here. We have a lot of great artists in here. I mean, a few guys from the TV stream in Gotham. So, so for, besides comics, we also have toys. We have artists here. Yeah. I mean, you have a little bit of everything. You well, even have you even, even have, have signature a, verification here, we right? We got signature verification here, correct? We got signature here. Today, we're gonna we also have a cosplay contest. We also have, you know, oh, okay. yeah, we're having great prices to the cosplay contest. So we're trying to make it almost like a, like a mini con, you know? Yeah. A little bit of everything for everyone to come. And the, and the thing is, it's free to the public right now. Yeah, I mean, that, to me, that that's that alone yeah. is, is amazing. Yeah. This is another community event, I feel, uh, in a location where we don't have as many conventions. The Bronx no. doesn't have it. This is the first one I've seen in the Bronx, right? We need this. We need this show. Yeah. The Bronx needs to have their own comic so, book show. And that's where I took over myself. That we, uh, my community, and I said, when I say my community, we all together, it doesn't matter where you're from. When it comes to time work, we are one big society, one exactly. big community. Yep. But the Bronx was kind of left out there that we didn't have our own show. Right. So I took it upon myself, and we're going to have our own show. And we're doing it, and thank God for everybody who's coming and supporting it because it's really growing, it's taking off. And it just, if you've never been here, you need to come here and check this out for yourself. So now, Bronx Time 3. Oh, it's Will coming. There be, it's coming. It's now, coming. Is this, going, is this going to be oh, the summer? Okay. Summer. So there you go, guys. Yeah. Be on the lookout. And you're going to make this a more common thing, right? We're yeah, going to have these more common. often? Yeah, this is common. This is going to be either every three to six months, but we're always going to have this going to be. This is the Bronx show. It's just going to get bigger and bigger because it just got bigger. It just really yep. got bigger. It, I, from the last time I was here, it blew up. So, guys, yeah. uh, if you're in the area, head up to West Streamont, uh, East Streamont, right? And yeah. uh, come check out the show. If you can't make it this time, definitely come for the next one because it's going to be a good time. You guys Thank you very much, on. brother. Appreciate that. Thank you.
So that was it. I mean, there was a little bit of everything there for everyone. And the best part about it was that the comic community, the IG community, the YouTube community was out in full force. BX Boxer was there. My boy, uh, The Butcher was there. Um, Nemesis Prime was, was there. There were just so many guys from the community that came out to show support and uh, just hang out, and talk, and chat, and just laugh and have a good time. Go to lunch afterwards. It's, it's what it's all about. This community is not just about collecting comics. It's about friendships, bonds. I, I, I preach this all the time. This was one of those events. But let me just show you. Like This was an exclusive only to the con. And this is uh, Lita. And it's 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 a uh, independent book, but Keith Williams, the artist who's drawn for Marvel, was there and did this cover, and he signed this cover at the at the con. They also had uh, this here, which is a Cult of Dracula, and I believe this was exclusive to the con. Also, there weren't that many copies of this. I was able and fortunate enough uh, to get one of these. So, really nice cover right there. But then let me show you the deal. So, um, Yasu Collectibles had. $5 bins and the books in there were not $5. So you had stuff like this uh, Chambers of Darkness, number one. Fantastic Four, number 79, that classic Joe Sinnott cover. Um, Siege, number one, that variant cover right there. You, I mean, you can't beat those books. Those were, those were great deals. And then there were really good books that you got good deals on. So I picked up Ultimate Fantastic Four, number 21. And this is the cameo appearance of the Marvel Zombies. 22, which is the first full appearance of the Marvel Zombies. And 23, which concludes that Marvel Zombies storyline. Now, anybody that knows the Marvel news, the MCU, Disney Plus is going to be doing a Marvel Zombies series. So, those are the kind of books you get. This was in the boxes there. Teen Titans number 12, second printing. First Batman Who Laughs. Uh, you guys have watched my previous videos. I believe in this character. I believe in this book. Um, anytime I can pick this up for an affordable price and this was super affordable, I will take it. Black Hammer, number one. Yeah, sitting in a the box there. Ultimates, number two. Daredevil 25. Remember how crazy this book went? And this is the second printing on it. Captain Britain and MI-13, number one. Formation of the team. There's so much spec on this. This team might be in a movie somewhere along the line. Or some form of this team. Book I like. I like that David Mack cover for White Tiger number one. He killed it. You've seen I picked up some of these other copies. Adventures into Fear number 20. Whew. What if Spider-Man uh, number one. Batman 666, first Damon Wayne as Batman. It's a dream sequence, but it's first Damon Wayne as Batman. And then here were the last two heavy hitters. Uh, guy had some great books. We were talking a bit. He had it at a price, but was willing to give me the cash price, which is something we all try. But I picked up a nice copy of Sam Wilson, Captain America, number five, I believe it is. Yeah, number five. And this is the first Joaquin... Uh, Torres as the new Falcon. Now we saw in the Captain America and the Winter Soldier series that Joaquin Torres was a part of that. Um, and he was given the wings, I believe, at the end. So can he be the new Falcon coming up somewhere along the line? I mean, he's Falcon's, you know, cap, the new Captain America, Sam Wilson, is getting his own series. Might have a sidekick. And then the buy of the con for me. I wanted this book, but this book just went nuclear when it first came out. Uh, it's cooled down a little bit, but it's still a pricey variant. Um, I wanted it just for the cover because that's all it is. It is a gorgeous cover, and I was able to get this for a fantastic deal. I just want to thank that dealer for hooking me up with this book. He knew I wanted it, and that's Black Panther, the Stephanie Hans 1 in 25. I mean, that is just gorgeous art right there. I kind of got back into collecting variant covers that appeal to me I went away from it for a while but some of these just call me and this is definitely one of those books so like I said this this show had a little bit of everything and it looks like they're going to be doing another one in June so stay tuned I'll put up some information when that show's coming up 
We're talking about shows that are coming up. You guys have got to go check out King Con 2. It is going to be the show of shows in the tri-state area. Uh, I believe it's like 10,000 square feet with people like Very Gary, Depressible Defects, uh, the New York Warriors, and Kyle's Comics, Zap Comics, um, Bronzeville Comics is going to be there. Streetside Anthony is going to be there. Everybody's setting up at this show. Uh, and it's, you know, it's for the community, by the community. So just a great show to go to. That's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out these videos over here because they both have really good content, which I think you'll enjoy. And uh, hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you're not subscribed. Until my next video, peace.